Okay, so the next part is actually combining these guys. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that they're all in uh, one. And the trick to this is to actually make sure that there's enough edges to connect with the body. So for example, as you guys know, what we did was actually create a cylinder with similar edges but with a torso we cut them in half. So basically we only have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six edges to work with but in the leg it actually has 12. So how are we supposed to actually combine this together? We want to make sure that the geometry actually follows the flow of the um, of the body. So let's go ahead and I'm going to grab these edges and just kind of move them down a little bit because these guys are supposed to be heading down as well. And this is going to help shape the body just a little bit more. Go ahead and bring this in a little bit. At this time, you're going to actually see the tutorial go significantly faster than what it has before. And the reason why is because I'm literally just going in and tweaking every single vertice until I feel like it's appropriate. So you're going to see me just moving vertices around, rotating them, and just basically trying to find the proper topology and how to properly fit them together. You're going to just see me actually just move things around. Um, place them in where I feel it should, the edge should follow for the body. Over here I'm going to start adding an extra edge so that it actually fits closer to the body and again we're missing edges so that the leg and the torso actually match. So what I'm doing now is actually adding edges to not only give more shape to the torso but also to make it connect to the leg. I also decided to go ahead and hide the reference windows because they were kind of interfering with my modeling. The point of this tutorial is basically to actually create a nice curved figure and organic as well. So this takes a little bit of practice when it comes to beginners, but eventually you'll see that the amount of vertices that you guys actually have is enough to give you a very good foundation on creating a torso. I do encourage you to actually continue modeling over and over again. The more you model, the faster you'll become, the more you're going to see how the vertices and the edges and all the edge flows fall closer together. What I'm doing now actually is extruding the, uh, the crotch area basically. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and grab the merge vertice tool and actually merge the edges together from the front to the back of the torso. This is going to create the well, the pubic area basically. And now I'm going to go ahead and start adding some edges. This is going to help add the edges that are missing so that I can actually attach the leg to the torso. I felt it was necessary to add another edge so I can give the tushy or the booty a little bit more curvature. Some of you guys may call it a buttocks. I personally like to call it a booty. Others just call it a butt. And now I'm going ahead and using the the merge vertice tool. So just remember to click and drag, click and drag, click and drag from vertice to vertice. You should have a total number of exact vertices to match the leg to the body. If you don't, you might need to tweak a little bit so that you actually go ahead and have them. So that's why the, the crotch area is so important is that you can actually add vertices to it. Now some of, them, some of them may look like they've been really, really stretched out. That's when you come in, which is what I'm doing right now, is actually helping smooth out the edge flow so that it actually combines together like a, well, like a nice organic figure.
You can always take a look at topology of, for reference. Reference is always very important. The important part of this model is to make it look like it's a little bit more curved. Currently it looks very cubic because after all, we did use the cylinder which kind of helps shape the body a little bit more, but it's also very important to make sure that we add curves to our geometry and make sure that it still looks like an actual figure. I went ahead and added an edge to kind of help build a rib cage and give a little bit of definition to the body. Now you can see how the body looks like in a smooth version. Again, this is just a smooth preview. And um, I noticed that the pelvic area needed a little bit more attention. So now I'm get, making it a little bit more smoother. There really isn't a straight line in the body, in the human body at all. So if you do see anything straight, I would recommend that you go ahead and kind of tweak it so that it's a little bit more curved and smoother. Be careful when you model in smooth preview that can cause a lot of issues later on. It may look nice, smooth, but if it doesn't look right when it is in the number one, then it's not gonna look good when you actually smooth it in real time. Something beautiful about the back is the nice spinal edge. So what I'm doing is actually grabbing the edges and kind of bringing them together and the center edge is gonna be brought in a little bit just so we can get that nice spinal column. Doing the same thing right now, just grabbing those edges and just bringing them in just a little bit to give it that nice curve that the back has. Again, when you add any edges, extra edges to the, to the body, you need to make sure that everything still looks well placed. So I'm gonna continue tweaking the back. The important part next is to actually attach the arm to the torso. So what I'm gonna be doing is actually removing some faces from the torso so the arm can actually be attached. Now that the faces have been removed, I need to again figure out a way to actually get the arm who has 12 edges to actually match that hole that I just created. So therefore, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding edge loops to create some number of edges. And now I'm going to be extruding so that I can connect the shoulder together. It's looking a little quadratic, but that's okay. I'm gonna be fixing that in a minute. Right now, what I'm trying to do is just add edges so that I have the exact number of edges to connect the body, the torso, and the arm together. You're gonna to see me toggle the arm a lot. As you can see, I'm toggling the camera a lot, and that's the reason why, so I can see how the edge flow is moving. So once again, I'm going to combine the geometry I'm going to select both of them, combine them, and now I'm going to use the Merge Vertex tool. Again, just going to click and drag and just start dragging them for vertice to vertice. This might be a little bit dizzying for you, but hopefully it will make sense as you just kind of drag the vertice from vertice to vertice, or you drag the tool from the vertex to vertex so that they merge together, and now you have the arm that's attached. The next aspect is to actually tweak it so that the arm actually has good edge flow. Mm -hmm.